Learning new information this afternoon about a devastating three car pileup that claimed the lives of four high school students from the northwest suburbs. WGN's Julian Cruz is live in Wheeling with more on the teens who were killed and how it happened. Julian? Well, then in Lourdes, a heart wrenching day for the victims' families and for students at Buffalo Grove High School. All throughout the day here, we have seen groups of people coming by, students, parents, teachers visiting the crash site throughout the day, bringing flowers and cards, people utterly devastated by last night's chain reaction collision that killed four, sending several others to local hospitals. It was dark, so I couldn't see it, and then um, I slipped on something. I hurt my arm. Angelina Ashley Gomez describing her frantic efforts to find her brother, 16-year-old Jesus Rodriguez, in the mangled wreckage just before 10.30 last night, Gomez following her brother and friends in another vehicle. We were just going home. Gomez witnessing the violent collision ahead, jumping out of her vehicle to find her injured brother. My brother, he was still breathing, so I tried opening the door. I couldn't. He was just laying. He was just there as if he was sleeping. Wheeling police crash investigators working to determine exactly what happened here. Wheeling's police chief in a written statement saying that it appears that speed and a disregarded traffic signal were the primary factors in the deadly crash. Riding in the lead car with Jesus Rodriguez was 18-year-old Richard Deita and two other Buffalo Grove High School classmates, Kevin R. Hernandez and 17-year-old Ricky Barcenas, all four tragically are dead and classmates and longtime friends like Joel Viara still not believing what's happened. I mean, it's just crazy to me because I never thought that I would lose them, you know, like in an instant they're gone. Now the victim's loved ones setting up GoFundMe pages to help pay for the unexpected funeral expenses. We will also hear from other families coming up in the 6 o'clock hour. In Buffalo Grove, Julian Cruz, WGN News.